What's up everybody? Banger Daily here with Newbie Gamers, and today we're gonna play State of Decay 2. Now, for you guys who like to go ahead and do the tutorial, I'm gonna show you what you can do that's not the tutorial. You can choose your characters and probably get a little bit more ahead uh, than using the regular characters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to new community right now. We're gonna choose to skip this tutorial. And there's gonna be a long loading screen. You know, at least it's not as long as GTA. But keep an eye on the morale of your community, which is important because um, if they do start getting all fussy and hating each other, you will end up having a lot of problems on your hands. So the best thing to do is they ever to get at least one type of person to get going, like a craftsman, a mechanic, and a gardener. The others, you can go to the local library shops and find books everywhere and get those extra people by recruiting if you want to. Now, there's a reason why I say if you want to, because you don't have to recruit people. You can use your three people and play the game and get up to leader without having to do all that. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and see what we can get. I don't like this guy in Craftman because he has bad cardio. His wits aren't that good, which can get up very quickly. The fighting takes too long. The shooting, I don't do a lot of. So we're going to go ahead and try to find somebody who has a better craftsmanship. Ooh, mechanic. Well, she does have crappy everything else, but she is a female. She does have great mechanics. So let's go ahead and see what we can get for craftsmanship. She's got good cardio. She's got great wits. Her fighting sucks, her shooting sucks, but her fighting can get up, but not as good as somebody who already has fighting. So let's go ahead and find out if we get somebody for gardening real quick. So we can get going a hell of a lot easier. I don't care what the person looks like as long as they have gardening. Gardening, come on, gardening. Cooking, gardening, there we go. So that's pretty much a good start, guys, especially with the wits up there. You can get into stealth quick and get your fighting um, pretty easy up there. And, um, yeah. So you don't have to go through that tutorial where you're running through the police station. You end up going right into a random map. So let's go ahead and start our community, guys. Yes, we are going to go ahead and do that. So long-term injuries reduce your max health and won't heal on their own. You'll need an infirmary or a first aid kit. I would say get an infirmary because the first aid kits are few and far between. But let's not talk about that just yet. Um, here we go. Oh, Lord. Okay, so this map is and not that great, empty. but Again. we're going to see what we can do. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I almost choked to death on a bloater. I have a better idea. We could settle down here instead of moving on. I admit, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. Now that you mention it, it does feel kind of homey. No, it doesn't. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible. Maybe with some room to expand. Lovely. Alright, so we're the chick first. What is her name? Her name is Danny. What's up, Danny? So... A lot of times there is fuel in the truck, guys. Like right here. There's fuel. So we're going to go ahead and refuel it. Always check the trunk first. If there wasn't any fuel, we'd be kind of screwed right now. But that's okay. We have fuel. We can get the truck moving. Let's go ahead and go to our base. Now, if you guys want to, you can stop up on the uh, the lookout points here just to get that under your belt there is an achievement for um, looking on that your first time 
Oh, we got we got walkers everywhere. Uh oh. Come on. All right. Killed the walkers. All right, let's go ahead and get up onto here. LB can climb faster, but it does wear down your stam. And if they wear down their stam too much, you start getting um, tired and fatigued. I should be able to find something good in all this. Yeah, probably not. Um, here, let's search this real quick. Okay, the search is kind of clunky, so you have to be like dead on. Let's see. I don't do fast search because I don't know if it screws it all up. Ah, oh, I didn't go through. Fuck. Let's try that again. You gotta hold it until it pops up the menu, guys. Or you have to do it all again. And it's a waste of time. Good enough. What the hell is this? That's a fucking grenade ammunition. I haven't found a grenade in here yet. This is my, like, 11th time through. Because my guys get killed really easily. Because I'm, I'm stupid so, at sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Would I take chances. Pass a chance to make that place an outpost. Now the outposts, I really don't understand because you don't get that many. I've always wanted to drive one of those. Yeah, I bet you did. And um, it seems like you only get a certain amount of slots if you you can't do every outpost. Well, not do, but you can't Look make everything into an outpost. How do you see it settling down? So you got to be kind of. Uh, kind of smart at what you do and I'm missing something what am I missing look on the ground guys because sometimes it is below you too but where is this where up oh, there it is that's enough Boom. looking around for now all right we're gonna go ahead and press and hold B for crouch and we're gonna go down there so we don't go ahead and jump off like idiots oh there's a bag here too Check everything. Don't leave anything behind. Now I'm not a too I'm not a too big of a fan on this map, guys. But I will show you the best way to start getting going on this map. I don't know if I'm gonna keep playing this one. Get the hell out of my way, dude. Alright, there we go. Let's get back into our car. There's one, and there's two. All right, so all these houses, we're gonna go ahead and check for materials and stuff. We're gonna try not to hit the cars into anything, because they do damage the cars and we don't have any repair kits. So here we all, here we are, where I have safe and sound at this new place. We gotta just uh, clear out to make it our home. So we're going to be very quiet going in. I'm here. Time for me to get to work. All right, let's get to work. She has a <laughs> She has a kitchen knife. Hey, we could actually move in here if we wanted. I hear I hear walkers. They must be downstairs. All right, let's get the walkers downstairs. <laughs> let's go creep mode. Oh He's, she's already up. Fuck. Goodbye. Where's the other one? Alright. She's still laying down. Here we go. Yeah! In the head. Goodbye. Being stealth is actually very good. And it can save your life. Oh. Here he is. Oh! Plague zombie. Alright. Good. But we... We've been in every area. So guys, if you ever get into a jam, just press A and it'll kick the monsters back. Oh, this one has a shed. That's right. We got to check the shed. There's one more. I don't see any, z any walkers. So that's a good sign. Let's crouch. Hopefully that'll help us get in without being noticed by these f the undead. Why is it always so hard to clear out one damn spot. All right, LB and X. There we go. Bam. Oh, we have more coming in. That's lovely. Four more. So let's go ahead and clear them. P. 
piece by piece. Alright. He can't see us. Let's hide around here. What are you doing? Get back behind us! Oh my god, you AI! You're retarded. Can we creep up behind him? Nope. Fuck! Fuck it. Screw it! Come on, down the ground, bitch! Uh, he ain't going down. Screw him. Two more, one more. It looks like one more. Oh, he's trying to get out, too. So. My New Year's resolution is to snuff at least three Zeds a day. Guys, if. Are gone, oh. So it's time for us to claim this place and move in. Nice. Okay, so, guys, if you ever find a zombie banging okay. at a door or anything. Go up and open the door. It knocks him back, and you're able to just kill him a lot easier. And this house says we only need one, but we got three. So let's go ahead and start this. This is our home now. Toot toot. Our first priority has to be gathering materials. We'll need them to improve this place. All right. Yeah, I already understand hey, that. If you're bored, how about you go scout out a place for us? Oh well. Okay. Not a problem. Alright, so you gotta climb the top of the nearby cell tower and survey the area if you want to keep going on. Oh, here we go. Already getting attacked. Watch this. Boom, boom. Goodbye. Close it back up. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check around my map right here. And, ooh, what is this? Oh, that's the cell tower? What? Oh, yeah, that's right. Now, these houses around you, if you get them taken out quickly, when the infest infestations start, you're not going to be affected by them. Oh, that's destroying. So, if we want to go get that, we we need a toolkit. Um, creepy garage. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and clear a house out, guys. We could probably get some uh, some food, meds, and some gasoline out of that. And we're going to go ahead and pick up every sample of plague sample that you can get. Because that's going to help your guys if they ever get plague. I'll uh, be back before you miss me. Thanks, Danny, for interrupting me, you freaking asshole. But uh, the more plague samples you have, when your guys get sick, you don't have to go and rush to get them. So saving him is an option. And guys, don't carry a lot on your guys because if they die, you lose everything. I mean everything. You can't go back and pick up their stuff. It will not let you. So let's check this house. Actually, that barn may have materials and the house may have meds. And I hear zombies around. So we're going to go in crouch mode so we can get our wits up. If you crouch and kill a zombie in crouch mode, your wits, wits go up a lot faster than just looking through stuff. And I keep hearing him, but I can't see... Oh, there he is. A crawler. Is this one alive too? Oh, this might be alive. Nope, not alive. Okay. Ooh, more goodies. Now, what I like to do is I like to get my wits up so I can go ahead and be more stealth and run while crouched. But it's up to you guys. If you want to be one of those loud guy people that go in there and just be loud and kill everything, go ahead. But I'm sure you're not going to last long and lose a lot of characters. Me, I go stealth. And I've seen that I can get my community a hell of a lot better by doing stealth than going in there loud and proud. So it kind of has that GTA aspect where you can change how you want to go in. Loud and proud, or loud and dumb, or quiet and proud, whatever you want to call it. Uh, die, mother fudger. Yeah, you... There we go. Oh, uh, we got hit. Shit. Alright, let's shut that off. Shut this down. And now we search. Always make sure the doors are closed because once a zombie starts bashing at that door, you can go kick it open and then, um, 
subdue them on the ground instead of having to ruin your knife a lot more by all the swings that you do. And that will save on screws for when you have to fix up your guns. So here we go. We got materials, a level 8 backpack, this and we got some seeds. Down. So that's what we were going was for some materials, and we got materials. Let's go ahead and search what else we have to see if there's any other goodies. No luck in here. Nothing. All right. So if you put the materials in that climb the tower um, of the nearby cell tower and survey the area will go away and you'll f be forced to keep going on. The more you go on is when you get the bloaters and the ferals and the juggernauts out. So I would suggest not to do anything that it says in the corner right away because then you're subjecting yourself to getting screwed so damn early but we're gonna go ahead and kill this one so we get our wits up i really want my stealth because right now with the stealth um ability i could be in crouch run up to him and already have already killed this guy and moved on kill her just in case I don't see any others. So there we go. Now if anything happens, she won't draw more attention to us. Always check the wreckages over here too. You'll find gasoline and screws and repair kits, which is awesome to keep your cars going. Good enough. Uh, we don't even need that yet. So let's go ahead and run back to the house. Always remember where you scavenged last, guys, so if you miss anything and you need to go oh, back, fucking tired. that's what you can do. So I don't want that mission, mission to be pushed forward, so I'm going to put the uh, material rucksack in there, and it won't force me to go on when I go back inside. Alright, let's put everything else away that we don't use or don't need. Since that gun doesn't have a suppressor right now, I don't want to draw more attention to me until I get a suppressor. But basically, I always carry a level 8 backpack. I carry a, at least a bladed weapon along with the bladed secondary if i get any kind of screw screwdrivers i i try to look for the uh, knives to uh, equip them and i always carry one bandage if i am about to get attacked by a horde and i have one bandage i do what i can and then when i get the die about to die run away heal myself and just keep on running go back with a friend and it'll be okay so what we're gonna do now is um we're gonna go to the survey so i can start showing you guys how to um set up your first camp which the first thing you want to do before you hit that is clear this trash out guys because it does take a minute and that gives you a new spot or a new opening to build a new facility so we're gonna go ahead and go right to the survey point now but I'm going to crouch because if there's any, yep, there's a Z, uh, walker right over there. They call them Zeds, but I call them walkers because I'm a Walking Dead fan. Let's see if I can get him with a ground, a ground attack. Can you be it? Can you be it? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. All right. Now they automatically put the gun, the uh, the knives back away, guys. The only thing they don't put back away is guns. So if you have a switch, all you gotta do is uh, press X to attack, and it puts the gun right back away. Oh, I fell! Oh no! Don't tell me I fell into a hole. Nope, I can get out. Good. All right, I got a plague zombie and a regular zombie over there to my right. I'm going to stay as far as away from them as possible. And I'm going to get up on that site as quick and easy. Oh, okay. Where is he? Where is he? I heard you. 
You're not gonna sneak up on me, bud. He's in my left. Oh, there he is. Alright, he's far enough away. We don't have to worry about him. He doesn't see us. And so if you're in crouch mode, it's very hard for them to detect, detect you rather than standing. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have a herd right here. It's not showing up as a herd because I'm too low of a level. Alright, so it says we have one potential container here, and it's not here, so it's probably up. Let's go ahead and get up to the top. Again, guys, if you want to get up faster, you're going to have to use your stam. But if you don't, just hold up on the uh, thumbstick. All right. Let's see what goodies we have in here. Could be worse. All right, good. What kind of grenade is that? All right, a thermite grenade. When you go and attack a big load of zombies, you want a, a lot of thermite grenades. I'll show you why in a little bit. And screws, always keep the screws. That helps you uh, repair all of your weapons. So we're going to go and enter survey mode. Of course oh. I'm making progress. It's me. We have a lot over here. Okay. That might just be the most perfect outpost spot ever. How do you figure that's the perfect outpost spot ever? There's a barn. That would have been a better outpost or a police station. I've always wanted to drive one of those. Now, guys, there are other vehicles on the map. If they do have um, gas in it, you don't have to waste your gas, which is always a good thing. What is this? I missed that. How did I miss that before? All right, that nursery might give us more materials. <laughs> that rickety shed definitely is gonna have materials. Value wagon? I don't know what that is. We're gonna have to check that out. Plague heart. Looks like another plague heart. Ah, uh, crap. All right. Okay, nothing more to see here. All right, so that plague heart is every time you get into this, that plague heart is right there. You'll see why in a second, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down, since we have no more to survey, and we're gonna go put our materials in, so I can show you the three main facilities you need to start. Or need to build to start off in your thing. But what we're going to do now, before we get back, so we can get back alive, is we're going to be sneaking back home. And we're going to kill every zombie that we get close to. Again, that gets your wits up hella quick. He's not a problem. Them two ain't a problem. None of those cars can be salvaged, so they're a lost cause. That go over a guy over there. He's uh, he's banging his head in the freaking on the ground. Now you know he's brainless. Let's go get this guy since he's really close to where we gotta go. He'll be a problem if we start running, and he'll alert the other zombies. <laughs> There, there we go. Now we gotta get up, and we're gonna haul ass. I haven't got my cardio up on anybody yet. I almost did, and he got ate by a uh, juggernaut, so that wasn't fun at all. All right, it says scavenger nearby site for a rucksack of materials. So what we're gonna do is we're already gonna we've already done that. 
So we're gonna go to the car, we're gonna grab the rucksack. Actually, what? It didn't do it. You know what? Screw it. If it's not gonna sit there and take that, as me already doing it, I'm gonna go down to that nursery. Let's go. Why not? Now, the more you hit zombies with your vehicle, it does kill it. But, I don't really care. I need that rucksack. This is one of the spots I always go to, which is kind of dangerous, because right here, there's no easy way out with a car. Unless you're willing to take the time and turn around properly. Which will take you a couple freaking minutes, depending on how good your driving is. Alright, there we go. Now, there's a couple out here to look for. There's three, and it does give you an ammo, possibly. And we do need ammo rucksacks right now. When we're getting going, we need almost everything to get going. Give me the Nothing ammo. Nothing abuse. Nothing. Crap. All right, what about right here? There we go. Give me the ammo rucksack, please. I love you, game. Oh, just ammo. Okay, so no ru- Oh, wait, there's, there's a third one. Oh, please be the rucksack of ammo. Hmm. Yes, Isn't there we useful? go. And we got a gun. All right, good. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in here, since we can't. You can only carry more than no more than one at a time. And because there might be something in here, we're gonna go ahead and equip the gun just in case. There we go. So we're gonna kneel down just Why in case. I kill every zombie myself, people. Yep, I knew there was a zombie down. Let's go ahead and kill him real quick. I love it. I love it. I lo I, I like all the ground attacks you can do. Let's go ahead and shut this door. And it's time for us to start searching for that rucksack. Let's go ahead and search this one. Now, the fast search, guys, you can make a lot of noise and or may not get everything out of the, the uh, searches. So I try not to use the quick search unless I'm looking for bandages. Because I'm almost at death. Otherwise, I can take my time. There's no zombies coming. I don't have to worry about anything. As long as you have your volume up, you should be able to hear them coming a mile away. And with your doors shut, as soon as they start pounding on the door, the mini-map will show you exactly where they're going. So you go right to that door, knock them over, and ground kill them. It's as easy as that. Nothing in there. Move on. Come on, give me a rucksack of materials. You're my last hope. Please. Yes. Cross this one off the to-do list. Nice. Let's go ahead. All right. Now we can go ahead and throw that in there. I keep one door open just so I can make sure that I've already looted that place so I don't go loot it again. All right, we're going to bring in the rucksack. Jump the wall. Come on, come on. Get in there. All right, here we go. It's time to get building. Bam. Either a workshop or an infirmary would be a good place to start. 
And she's right, either a workshop or infirmary. But what I do is I have enough materials where I do both. But what I do is I make my infirmary back here. Hey there, we could really use some help from you folks. Thanks, we'll get to you Don't in a move second. A I'm on my way. Okay. So we have eight it co we have eight rucksacks or eight uh, materials and it costs three. And the garden costs three, so that's six. So let's go ahead and build the infirmary. And while we're waiting for the infirmary, we're going to build the workshop. So there's two of the first things you need. Now it says talk to Rachel locals to learn what her group needs. This is going to what uh, this is what's going to give you the um the 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 cure for plague zombie. All right, this guy. Oh, this guy's right here. All right, come here, guy. No, 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 no. Get on your face. Get on your face. All right, so when you kick them, guys, it does take down your stam. So if they don't get down by the second kick, just kill them. Uh, we're going to go talk to Rachel and the locals to see what she needs. So remember, we not we open this thing up here and we couldn't take it. And it's valuables we can sell to get influence. Because a, a bigger base requires a lot of influence and a lot of people. So we're going to grab that. We're going to go back in here. And we're gonna talk to this girl. Usually it tells me while the infirmary is opening or building to go look for more materials. It's not always the same in every game, guys. It has a dice kind of movement. So no matter what kind of start you get, you could either get good characters and no loot and crappy characters with a awesome loot. So let's go ahead and knock him over. And we're going to go ahead and see what uh, Rachel has. Rachel is a blonde version of my girl. Are you? Oh, hello. You can come in if you'd like. Uh, I don't know if I want to. Rachel, no, you're not the version of me. It kind of looks like you are. Where are you going? No, uh, 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 come How here. How have you been? Uh, uh, I've been good. Okay, so we don't have uh, Plague Heart samples besides that one. So we're going to go ahead and see what she wants. The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. There's a plague heart nearby. That whole area should be crawling with infected zombies. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. Uh-oh, we have a backdoor this visitor. Won't be easy, so you should bring the best equipment you have on hand. You really don't want to see what'll happen if we don't find more meds. All right. Um, oh, yeah, like this is a good way to make friends. So what I do before I go ahead? Let's hope this pays off. We could use allies out here. Thanks. They interrupt you all the time. Get used to it. But what I do is I go ahead and search the home of where they're at. So if I find any grenades or anything, it's going to be that much more easier to kill that plague heart and get all the samples they need right away instead of killing killing plague hearts back to back. Cooking textbook. We don't even need that. And we have a lovely backpack. Um, yeah, see, we have everything we need. Let's go ahead. No, we can't even reload our gun. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and check out the base to find out how much longer on that infirmary. So I can go ahead and build the garden and show y'all how to get going. But that is, this is part of getting going, having to do this mission for them guys. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get this done as quick as possible. And like I said, don't kill your car right away. Because the easiest way to get these samples so you don't have to fight the heart, plague heart zombies is just go ahead and knock them over. And where I went and did the site thing on the uh, tower 
That's where we have to go. Yay. Alright, he's not a plague heart. Neither of these guys. Oh, that's a plague heart. Do I have a sample? Are you underneath my car still? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, she didn't, he didn't get it. Good. Man, he didn't drop anything. Yep, he's stuck underneath my truck. Fuck. Let's get him out from underneath here. God, I am so sick of plague zombies. Yes, I'm sick of plague zombies too. Alright, so they didn't drop any. Crap. Let's see if I can sneak up on this guy. Now this is all on getting going guys, so I'm showing you the, the best way to do this without dying or losing any of your creatures. No room. Oh, we have no room. Crap. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to run to the truck. Hopefully we have some space open. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and just fill the truck up with that crap. Go back to this guy. Hopefully the uh, sample's still there. The sample is still there. Awesome. There's one. All right. So, this is going to be bad. Oh, the workshop is complete. Good. Oh, we have two samples out of three. Oh, yeah, because I got that other one. I can't believe they're um, actually including that, but okay. I'll give it to them. <laughs> Now, if you want to go in and get that plague heart, that's up to y'all. But having one person, I don't do that. Give me the sample. You right, sack of crap. Alright, so let's see. Oh, it's open. How would I get this job again? Oh, crap. Run out. Run out. This is going to make so much noise. And there's another. Great. There's two. Oh, no, 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 no. Run. Come on, guys. Fatty, get away from me. Alright, he's got the he's got what we need. Yes! Shit hot. I'm done. Yay. Oh no. Oh, her fighting got up pretty quickly. Yeah, I know you're effing tired. I'm so effing sorry, but we need these effing plague samples. He doesn't even see me. Where's our truck? Whoa, where's our truck? Oh, there's our truck. It's so easy to get thrown around on here, guys. Two. Let's go ahead and deliver. We gotta go grab that other sample and then we're gonna deliver. And then I'll show you what to do at your workshops to get them up going to go ahead and get started. But we have to get this done. There is a time limit on these missions. So you have to get this done within a certain time limit or you lose the cure. And then you have to wait until another group comes through asking for the same thing. And it could be days or even weeks and game day game weeks before you even get anybody in there because if you don't help anybody out they go ahead and just leave so let's go ahead don't make sure you do not hold the lb button and go near any doors it will slam the door open all right there we go and we're gonna go ahead and place everything in here just in case we find more stuff guys you always want to make sure you have empty pockets <laughs> All 
All right, we got the we got the cure or the the samples. We're gonna go ahead and. Oh, come on, really? God damn it! Die. Go 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 go! Oh, don't hit that! Screw it! You're the mechanic. We find a mechanic thing and you you can fix it. We're almost out of gas too. You gotta watch your gas meter up there because if you don't have any gas on hand and you get stranded in the middle of it in nowhere, you have to run back home or find run to find gas. And I've lost a lot of guys doing that. And the reason why I've started over 10 times with some great characters too almost fully upgrading everything all right she's too far screw her hey Marcus where's Rachel Rachel's back here hey Rachel there you go girl thank you you're welcome. That'll be really useful for us. Good. With these plague samples, I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us gets infected. Nice. All right. I'm happy to share the recipe if you need. That would be great. Thank you for that recipe. You're all right in my book. Yes, yes, they are. Take care now. All right, let's go ahead and uh, they're miserable. Crap. Okay, see guys, they're miserable because we don't have any gas, no ammo, and no meds. But that's fine because we're gonna go get it as soon as possible. So we're going to go ahead and start this. We're going to haul ass right back to the base. So no stopping. No detours. We got barely any gas. And finding gas is a pain in my ass. You can always find a rucksack, bring it into your house, and then take one from there. But then it takes from your base materials and then you have more pissed off people in the end so it's just it's best to go ahead and find the gas and use the gas that you find instead of taking it out of the base but hey stuff happens you know where you have to let's go ahead and take these sacks we're gonna put some ammo and some mats in here Now, people say materials and everything, you can find it everywhere. I'm having a very hard time keeping my, um, my Supplies meds up. Delivered. Go me. There's not a lot of places to go get them. So try not to use the meds unless you really have to, guys. Alright, and we are losing daylight as we speak. Let's go ahead and just empty this truck. <laughs> There we go, thank you. Jump the wall so it's easier than going through the fence all the time. Alright, that's more mats. Wow, that only gave me one material? That's some crap. Usually I get three to six. Alright, we need ammo. Oh, they got in. How did they get in? Our fuel tanks are getting close to empty. Yeah, I know. Fuel tanks are getting close to empty. We'll go ahead and do something about that in a minute. Let's go ahead and kill her so we can get that last sack out without getting killed. And her um, her weapon's about to die. And we have probably not a lot of screws to fix that. More mats. There we go. All right, so now all we got to do is find uh, meds and gasoline, which is not that hard. But as much as I distrust strangers, we could use some new faces. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so workshop. 
The only way you can upgrade the workshop the first time is to have five secure, uh, five scraps of, uh, <laughs> everybody calls it a different thing. It's, um, circuits, what I call it. To upgrade the infirmary, you need five things of chemicals. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and set up the garden. <laughs> so we're going to go choose garden. And this is the reason why I have you get one crafter, one mechanic, and one gardener. Because the person who does the crafting will upgrade your, your storage. I got some news for you. Oh, great. A new infestation. Awesome. Okay, so we can go ahead and do the first upgrade. It gives plus storage to all resources. Now, the second time we do it, it's going to have to be the craftsmanship, which our crafter is Mr. Can, I believe. Yeah, or no, he's the gardener. She's the craft craftsmanship. So she would go ahead and do the second upgrade on the storage. He would do the first upgrade on the gardening. And then we would need the circuits for the workshop and the chemicals for the infirmary. If you get somebody with medicine, it makes the medicine that much more easier. Let's go ahead and kill this guy real quick. Come here, zombie. Oh, they already got him. Alright, guys, so if you found this... Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> Lord. Be ready for interruptions all the time, guys. But yeah, that is the uh, starting of how I get my base going. And those steps I just took get me to the next base a lot easier than just putting anything down and hoping for the best. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more. I will be doing more videos on how to find these different things and go ahead and get a second base location and try to get the leader, at least one of every leader in each aspect of this game. So subscribe for more. Like this video if you found it helpful and also share the video with your friends guys that's the only way we're gonna get a newbie gamers to get out so you guys can be up to date on all the information stay to gay too hey, for more what do you know what do you know fuck off stop interrupting me but anyway guys this has been another video from newbie gamers banger daily your host and y'all have a great day